Hello everybody! As some of you may know, we recently got this ambulance to make into a camper. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining how we are planning on running the interior electricity of the ambulance. We have something, a little bit of a unique setup that I'm going to explain and go over. So let's head into the back of the ambulance and go over everything. So follow me. All right, so let's go over it. Starting first, this right here is the Anchor F2000. The Anchor Solix F2000 is a portable power station with a lot to offer. With 2,048 watt hours and a 2,400 watt output, it can power and charge multiple items at once and also run high wattage appliances. It features 12 output ports for maximum versatility, including an RV port. The Anchor Solix F2000 features InfiniPower technology, and it's equipped with EV-grade batteries that will remain healthy for up to 3,000 charge cycles, or equivalent to 10 years of use. With HyperFlash technology, this power station can be charged from 0 to 80% in just one hour. And you can monitor the power station through the Smart app, making it really convenient to keep an eye on things. Now that you know a little bit about what the Anchor Solix F2000 is capable of, stay tuned to see how we use it in our ambulance camper conversion. This is what we're gonna be using to power the interior of the ambulance. The ambulance system in itself, the electrical system, is really complicated. Let me show you why. So this right here is the electrical system of the ambulance. Are you guys ready for this? It's pretty wild. <laughs> so this is a little bit intense in here. A lot of stuff going on, a lot of different systems and connections and everything. So we have plans to develop it later down the line, but for now we don't want to mess too much with the electrical system because we're not ready to. So with that being said, let me explain how this electrical system is powered. All right, so here I am in the driver's seat of the ambulance. We still need to come up with a good name for the ambulance. I have some ideas, but if you have a really cool name in mind for the ambulance, drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on that. So, back to the electrical system. When the engine is on, we have this switchboard right here that when you click the master on, it powers everything in the ambulance. All of the lights, all of the back lights, all of the outlets in the back, everything. Even this weird fish eye light. <laughs> yeah, anyways. So while we're driving, we have plenty of electricity in the back and we actually have a few outlets in the back. So while we're driving, we can charge the Anchor F2000. And when the engine is on, we have plenty of electricity to use. So now here's what's gonna happen when we turn the engine off. So once the engine is off and we don't have electricity running back here to any of the outlets or any or the lights or anything like that, as you can see, we got an outlet there, we have an outlet over there, and we have an outlet there. I think we actually have more outlets, I just don't know where they are at the time. We have three in the cabinet too. Yeah. In this one. Yeah, we have we have kind of outlets everywhere, which is really cool. Actually, I'm pretty uh, thankful for it. But yeah, anyways, so when the engine's off, we are going to power everything with this power station. Our lights, our cooking equipment, our phone chargers, camera chargers, pretty much anything that we need to charge or use. So this is going to charge while we're driving. When the engine turns off, we're gonna use this to power whatever we need. So that's basically our plan for the electrical system for now in the ambulance. Like I said, I don't really wanna to dive too deep into the electrical system yet because we have some things that I would like to work on beforehand. So stay tuned and see how it develops with time. For now, we're gonna use this bad boy What's really cool also about this is we can actually plug the ambulance in to this. 
So this plug right here is how we connect to shore power. So Vion's going to give you a little demonstration. And now we can plug the shore power of the ambulance into this power station. So now it's plugged in and let me show you what we can do with this. So when we have it set up this way, the power station is actually powering the ambulance. So now we have power in all the electrical outlets. So we can turn on the lights, we can charge stuff in the outlets, we can use the outlets how they're intended to be used. And vice versa, when the ambulance is on, it charges the power station. So they kind of work as like a pair. Another really cool thing that I like about this system is that when we want to, we can take this power station outside and use it outside wherever we feel like using it. So with that being said, let's go have some fun. I have some family in town, so we are going to go enjoy some of the areas along the Oregon coast, take the Anchor F2000 with us, and wait until you see what we do with it. So let's roll. This is what we are going to use to run the entire ambulance in the back, everything that we need. But we have some work to do to get all of that set up, so in the meantime, we are going to have an off-grid picnic in this beautiful spot on the coast with my mom. So we're going to unpack everything, get it out over there, enjoy the sun, enjoy the weather, and eat some good food. Let's roll. One cool feature of the Anchor Solix F2000 is this retractable handle and wheels, both of which make moving the power station really easy. It is on the heavier side, weighing in at about 60 pounds, so these two features are really great to have. So before cooking, we are going to do a fire, but we need to charge the chainsaw. All right, so we are almost done uh, unpacking the ambulance. We have almost everything we need. Now it's time to start the fire. So I'm gonna grab the peanut. She has to stay in ambulance jail while we do everything because too many things can, can get her. She's too tiny. So remove peanut from ambulance jail and let's go start the fire. The best part, Vion's favorite part. You said the ocean is making a weird noise. Oh, oops, it's the button. <laughs> Such a nice spot. All right, Chef, you want to explain what's on the menu? So, that would be very basic, very American. So we do cheeseburger and fries, <laughs> or like potato wedges, or Jojo's, <laughs> some people they call them, <laughs> right? Jojo's? Do you remember by Clemens Fall? Like the weird place, they, they call it Jojo's over there. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. 
Uh, let's go. You lay down in your chair. I meant fries. Perfect. We are super lucky. For whatever reason, today there is absolutely okay. no wind. So for once it's making it really easy for us to have a picnic without things kind of like blowing around everywhere. And the ocean is right there, so when we're done eating, we're gonna go have a little walk on the beach. But first, potatoes! <laughs> super nice day, super nice campground. What more can you ask for? So we are going to cook the fries with the air fryer and this stuff is really cool when you do a kind of van life because most of the time you don't have like a real oven and you can do almost everything with uh, the air fryer. Just ask a lot of power but it's okay <laughs> because this will pour it. and the timing will go like 10 minutes to see where the fries will be after that. If you guys are interested in picking up an Anchor Solix F2000 for yourself, be sure to click the exclusive link in the description. They have some great deals going on right now for Black Friday, so don't forget to check out the links below. We have a little guest for our barbecue, this little bunny right here. So it's the last moment to get huckleberries. So my mom is gonna harvest huckleberries while we finish cooking. And so we can enjoy berries before they are all gone. Oh yeah. <laughs> On the berry hunt. Look at this beautiful forest. Harvested a few. Got some big ones from this bush, so we're gonna harvest what they got and take it back. Boop. All right, so I set my mom up so she can pick some of the berries while I go help Viant finish lunch. Hello. Hello. Mm, hello. I know somebody that's waiting for the potatoes. Oh, uh, do you want to look like what they look like, the fries? To see if we have to put a little bit more, uh, maybe oh, wow. a little bit more. Yeah, looking good though. Very good. Yeah, let's do the seasoning. Blend herbs, garlic, pepper, salt. All right. Since we think the fries are gonna take longer than, or the potatoes rather, are gonna take longer than the burger, we did, there's spider ribs everywhere, sorry. We did the fries first, and then we're gonna do the burger after the fries are finished. Yes, we forgot the lettuce, but it's okay. We did, we forgot the lettuce. We have a special sauce that will be a... Yeah, 
replace it, a good substitute. Did you even go anywhere if you didn't forget anything? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's roll. All right, time to check the fries. Ooh. Look at that. I mean, that's, this, that's what's up. Yeah, this is not regular camping. This is like five star camping. Yeah. What? Taste test. You're going to burn your mouth. Ah, yeah. Mmm. Oh my God. An oven by the beach. Oh my God, that good. Awesome. Very, very hot. So next up, we are making the sauce right here with the little bullet blender. And we're gonna power the bullet blender with the Anchor F2000. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty good. We're gonna use it for the fries and the burger. All right, sauce is done, time to blend it. All right, you guys, it was only a matter of time before my camera batteries started to get low. So I just finished making the special sauce. <laughs> and now I am going to charge my camera batteries using the Anchor F2000 while we finish cooking. So here we go. Oh wow, it's not that so little for the peanut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a <laughs> it's kinda of messy for her. <laughs> that is a big little one for for this little lady. Camouflage in my vest. Oh she'll we, be we love her. She'll be happy though. Let's cook these burgers. So we are cooking right here. Okay. Let me show you what I found right here in the woods. So that went pretty quick. This is Peanut's meal right here. Can't forget about the peeps. Yeah, yeah. Waiting patiently over here, just relaxing in the chair. You hungry, Peanut? You hungry? 
You want to eat this beef? Okay, let's get you spot. How is it? You enjoy? This is my mom's berry harvest. Pretty solid. Can't wait to make some stuff with that. Wow, another Chef Variant special. We tried. Nice work. Looking good. Look at that, look at that. All right, let's deliver it to my mama. Oh, shit. Special delivery. Thank you. Not for you, peeps. Not for All right. Lunch is served. Let's eat. So that was absolutely delicious. We were able to cook everything that we had with the Anchor F2000. This is such a powerful power station. Now we are going to pack everything up and head down to the beach to enjoy the last moments of the day and the last moments of the fire before it's dark.
So I got my heated vest on, ready to enjoy this chilly sunset on the beach with the peanut. Right there. And my mom and Vion. So just gonna stroll along the beach. We are the only ones on this beach for a long time. Look down that way, nobody. I look down that way, nobody. So just gonna enjoy this little private beach all to ourselves. Such a beautiful place. It was really nice to cook burgers on this beautiful day and enjoy some time together. And uh, yeah, just hang out and enjoy what the Oregon coast has to offer. This is like some kind of like dock or something that washed up on the beach in concrete. Some stairs or something. It's kind of neat. You never know what you'll find on the beach. Can you see them? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> but wow, look at this rebar in here. Look at this piece of rebar. This is freaking huge. This is interesting. Neat, huh? All right, so it's a beautiful sunset. We are going to call it a day. It's starting to get dark, so we're gonna head back to the ambulance and pretty much call it a night. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you guys wanna stay updated with our plans for the ambulance and we'll see you in the next video. Help support our channel by leaving a comment, liking, and sharing this video. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our projects and adventures on Pacific Pines Ranch. We put out new videos every Saturday and sometimes even during the week. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any. Okay, bye.